Hello and welcome to another video from Scatterbrook Farm. Um, I've had a message from a lady uh, who says her daughter um, loves her horses. She's not not massively high level, but she loves her horses and, and their stables, but she doesn't know what to do with them, how to place them out or... or uh, she doesn't go in the derbies, so she can't win any horsey stuff like jumps and, and you know, the, the the horseshoe trophies and things like that. So she's asked me if there's anything basic that I can do um, for, for the horse stables. Um, so I'm going to do a design step by step. So this is as it's happening. It's done, done on my phone as all my designs are so it may take a little bit of time but we're going to design um we're going to we're going to do a horse paddock with some horse jumps and incorporate the um the horse stables so as you can see there i've got a few trees there from the last design and i've probably used those um and the three stables now a low level may, may only have one stable or possibly two stables so you can do the same design that i'm going to do with one or two stables but like i said we'll do this design step by step we'll see how we we get on um i build my designs as i go so it, if I see something's needed there, I'll put it in and, and it's basically trial and error. I can roughly see what it's going to look like. But obviously until you've done it, you know, there's, there's a few things that you might change here and there. But we'll crack on and see. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. There's a few, you know, there'll be a few ups and downs, I'm sure, but. So what we'll do, we'll start with a boundary fence. Now, either a boundary fence or a boundary wall. It's up to you what you prefer to put around the outside. Now, what I will say about putting a boundary fence, always leave a gap around the outside of the fence. Now, this is crucial. Don't put your boundary fence to as far as it can go and it can't go anymore. Now, I'll... I'll I'll let you know why as the video progresses. Okay. So what we're going to do. We're going to start to put the boundary fence. So. We've got a wall there. So anybody at low level. They might not be able to get a wall at the moment. So we'll leave it leave the wall let's go for we'll go for the white fence everybody can get a white fence so i've already left the gap the other side as you can see because if i want to add any more apple trees i can do so I'm just adding the boundary fence. I'm not sure how far to go at the moment, but uh, that'll do there for there. Okay, so now we come along this way. So again, as I'm putting the boundary fence, I could still go one more if I wanted. I've got that gap on the outside, so we keep the keep that fence going all the way along. Lots of people use the edit mode. I, I'd rather do it this way. I can see what I've got. Just as easy for me to do it this way. So again. Up. Up 
to there. Not sure how far we want to go, but let's leave it there for now. So that there is the perimeter fence that we've got to do our design. So everything has got to be within that fence. And we've got room on the outside if we have to, only if we have to, to move it out to fit something in. But um, so we'll have a few more apple trees. Some up there. Oh, let's put them here first. I mean, we're going to need. Looks about. There. So we'll put one, two, one. Two. Okay, so that is the boundary fence. So we've got the apple trees and the boundary fence. Now, on the inside of this fence, we need some sort of uh, path to go around the outside of the paddock. So what have we got? Let's have a look. Too many of those? No. Let's give this a go. Don't like the look of those horses. Those of you who do your decorating, the animals tend to get in the way now and again. A little bit of a pain in the butt. So we get in there. Nearly there. Oh, one piece left. Wow. <laughs> okay, so there's the outer, the outer path. Oh, right, okay. Not sure whether that should come in one, to be absolutely honest. Hmm. Do 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 do. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna bring that. Let's just have a look. No, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. We'll see how we get on. Okay. So now we want a couple of tie-up posts. So we have one, two. We'll put a couple of slabs. Which one should we use? One, two. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll, we'll just, I know I keep using these, but daffodils to me 
are one of the nicest flowers <laughs> on this game. They give off loads of colour and they really do set, set things off really, really nice. So let's just get the daffodil. One there. there so in between each tree, so. I'll put it in the right place. Right, then we turn them all to the right. That one's okay, that one's okay, that one. Just turn in. That one, that one. All good. So already you can see it's starting to take shape. We've got we've got a we've got a paddock. We need something. But now I know that in the middle of there, we're going to put some jumps. So I don't have to worry now about moving any fencing out. So we'll put some flowers around the outside of the fence. We had this the other day. We only got four white. 41 orange. That'll do. We'll go for the orange. Now, like I've said in previous videos, when you put flowers around the outside of a fence, it changes, changes the whole look. If you've got a wall around the outside and nothing against it, you know, you, you haven't left a gap. And you've got this fence or wall. It can look very, very bare. Okay. So now it's starting to starting to shape up. So now we need to place these. Um, bring that on that one there. Okay. So what we need to do now is make a slabbed area in front of the horses now I've got a feeling this is where these horses are going to get in the way let's just slap the area and then we can take out <laughs> right there, 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 there. So we would need so we'll have a hay bale there. We could have one there and one there how's that look so we can put a board there we can put a board there now we need to find, ah, bales. So we'll put that one there. Where's the little cart? There we are. There's a, and we got that there. OK. 
Okay, how does that look? Does that need turning this way? Yeah. Now we need some barrels. We go for the, the bigger barrels, I think. No, that was the big barrels. Okay, so we put one in there. And one in there. Right. Let's have a look. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, dum dum I'm not sure whether that should come That's to there. I'm not sure whether that needs to come more central. Let me just look a minute. Yeah. So we move that one to there. That one to there. That one to there. Oh, we could even leave that one out there. Back to the slabs. back into there right now what we need is some trees so we'll put some trees at the back so I mean it right I should put a conifer or something in the middle of there just to give it a little bit of a little bit of darkness So now what we need to do is add another bit of boundary fence to keep the horses in. Take that up to there. It just disappears. And then there. There. Um, excuse me, Mr. Horse. Um, let me just whistle them there. That's right. That 
to there, up to there, up to there, into there, and into. There. Yeah. So already that's starting to look. I really do need to move. I need to see what's going on here with this tree. There. Oh my goodness, I'm going to flatten the horse. I do apologize. Oh, no, he's there. Give him another whistle. Okay, so we want something at the side here. Let's see if we've got a. Oh, we've got a horseshoe trophy. We got any? We'll use that in a minute. Have we got a horse jump? Oh, I don't know where to look. Where will it be? Decorations. <laughs> Keep your eye out. Keep your eye out for a jump. Hey. Okay. Put the jump at the side. Take that slab out. Let's just see. See what that looks like. Okay. Something doesn't look right there. Right, so we've got the main design there. Let's just have a little look, zoom out there. Yeah. So now we've got the three stables with some barrels in between and the boards that you can stand on. We've got all the hay bales and the little cart there with the, with the, the hay in. And we've also got two posts that you can tie the horses up once they've... Uh, well, they all want tying up, really. Look at them running around here. Okay. Now, if you want to get your animals to stay within an area, what you do with these horses, move the pen into an open area inside the fence, whistle it, so they all come running to the pen, okay? Then move it back and whistle it again. So now they go to there and now they should set and stay. The only problem is now they're going to be a little bit of a nightmare getting in the way now. So there they are. They're not running outside. They're staying within the boundary. Okay. So, if you are a um, higher level, you're going to have the horse jumps and all the, the horsey stuff that you can get. But if, or, or if you play in the derbies, you can win, win the horse jumps. But if you don't play in the derbies and you've got, no horsey stuff, you know, horse jumps or anything like that. I've got an alternative for you. I can actually make horse jumps. It looks, it looks, you know, relatively good when it's done. It looks more natural. It's the sort of thing you'd see in a, 
in in a field for for training horses and that it, it looks quite natural so i'm now gonna start building some jumps so what we will use there we go Don't worry, it's not just going to be a wall. I'm just going to... How many can we put in there? Let's go for three. Right. How does that look? Three of those. Okay. Now we need some coffee bushes. There's some. Oh no, too big. Too big. Some smaller ones there. Yep. One. Two. I'm going to go to that one. There. Okay. Uh, we'll change the middle one. What can we have there? Let's, go. Let's get some barrels. One. Two. Turn that to there. Okay, now we'll make the middle one a water jump. So we'll put the water there. there so jump over there jump over there I'm gonna put those down a bit there 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 and I can anyway dirt we got oh we've only got two left we're gonna to be too short to put the other side of this one no more mud pass oh dear Never mind. Okay. So we zoom out. Now as you can see. We've got an arena now. We've got a jumping arena. So you haven't had to use any jumps. Or win any jumps to put in there. These are purely just made up. With stuff that you can purchase quite quite easily or you know you that are in your just in your normal catalog you can win the water you can win um the the, the dirt holes as i call them so yeah yeah that doesn't look too bad i mean we've just built that bit by bit and just as I've gone you know I've just looked at it and thought we need this we need that we can put this there we can put that obviously if I've got if I've got more time and a lot of time on my hands I can actually further it you know and, and go even further with it and more more deco if you actually look on uh, uh, a couple of my videos that I've got of, of my Scatterbrook farm, you'll see my horse area pretty similar to what we've got here, um, but it's a little bit more advanced. It's it's because obviously I've got stuff that I've won. Um, I've got a tree swinging that in the corner with some flowers around it, uh, a tractor, and 
have a, have a look on the on the video and you'll you'll see what i mean by a little bit more advanced this is done for again to help lower level players um the lady that messaged me i hope this helps your daughter you know it gives her something to to copy if she wants to copy it but it certainly looks natural you've got an area there for the horses to to jump jump over the over the well i know they don't jump but all the horses are holding in the pens so again you've got the trees um, the trees that you put behind you can put any trees you want you can you can put colored trees um, stagger them to how you want you can put where i've got the barrels in between you know it doesn't have to be barrels you can have some more straw bales um but yeah we've just done it as we've gone you know it's nothing's been edited we've just built it up you know thought of a design started with the boundary fence added a few more apple trees put some daffodils in between some orange roses around the outside so make sure when you're doing a design the boundary fence is the first thing that goes in that that's your that's your key to what you're doing the boundary fence but again leave a gap on the outside of the fence and this enables you then to add anything on the outside of the fence just to just to top it off you know i've, just, I've put orange ro orange roses around there you know you could add whatever flowers you want you know it's your choice but again there's another design there for your horse stables and again like i said for lower level players it's a lovely little design it doesn't cost anything um and you can get all the pieces there relatively low level again with the stables you know you can you can do sort of one stable two stables or the three and if you want a bigger design you can incorporate the donkeys in with it as well so there is your stable design i hope this helps your daughter she can get onto her heyday now and start designing okay that's another design then from scatterbrook i hope you enjoyed the design feel free to copy don't forget to hit the subscribe and hit the like button if you like and any ideas that you'd like me to uh to design for you just put down in the messages and uh, it's been on a daily basis you know i've been doing these these designs there might be a few times where i you know might, might be busy for a couple of days but uh I'll try and keep the videos coming to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, so that looks really, really nice. It's basic, but it's effective. Okay, I always say it. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget, hit the subscribe and the like. Any comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Cheerio.